So we came here uh, fast and furious on the motorcycle. Uh, all work and no play makes Johnny a dull boy. Because <laughs> I knew I, look at here. I tell you what, there's a lot of people here in this area that ride motorcycles. Uh, I must have passed, uh, I don't know, 50 on my way here. Um, and uh, you know, it's kind of like a club. You know, you, you, you hold out that hand and you, and you greet uh, the other motorcycle riders, you know, because everybody has uh, that sense of freedom, you know, of riding it. But, uh, I wanted my wife to learn how to ride a motorcycle before she uh, got into the divorce. Uh, I think she would have enjoyed it. But anyway, we are at the north entrance to the Sunny Hill Restoration Area. We've been here before. I've made uh, previous videos. Uh, as you can see, there's actually a couple people here. I, maybe my videos are, are showing people where they can go. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm not going to make, a, well, we'll get the sign down here. That'll be the next clip. And then uh, and then what I'm doing is I'm in search of uh, a way to get from here over to the uh, Oklawaha River. Um, and we haven't done that before. So I thought, uh, just make a quick video. I, did, I didn't even bring the selfie stick or anything. I, all I got is the uh, phone with me. Um, so anyway, and uh, you see I got the walking stick. The motorcycle's all locked up. And let's get going. So this could be a real short video. <laughs> anyway, we've uh, this is the entrance right here. Okay, and then uh, we've come in on a previous video from Moss Bluff up here, and we've come down this way, and there was a road, well, somewhere around in here that took you over to here. See, it's not even on the map. And that's what I'm saying is I think there's going to be a way along here somewhere to get over to here to the uh, to the river. And that's what I'm in search of today. Um, we attempted the south track. That didn't go too well. Uh, this might be the last uh, Sunny Hill uh, video. Um, so what my plan is, is I'm just going to come out here. We're not going to go into the camping area, which is right there. Okay, we're just going to hike along this and, and this is another thing. See, it's not showing. There's actually a trail that goes down this way. And I've done that in the past and made a video about it. Um, I don't know why it's not on the map. But we're going to just hike along here. And I know that there's some some cross treks through here. I think there is. And that's what I'm going to find out today. So that's, uh, that's the video. Uh, in case you haven't seen any of my previous videos, welcome to the Sunny Hill Restoration Area. The old farm residence was built in the 1920s by George Eck, the first muck farmer in this area. The original farm covered about 900 acres and was called Stark's Ferry Farm. After a succession of owners, this pot property was purchased by the St. John's River Water Management District in September 1988, and at that time, Sunny Hill Farms contained nearly 4,000 acres along the historic Oklawaha River Channel from County Road 42 to Moss Bluff. The rest the restoration and renovation of this historic farmhouse was completed by the district in 1995. The addition to the south track is 3,401 acres, and that's uh, that's that right there. Now I I may go back there someday. I tell you that wasn't that wasn't a very pleasant hike. Um, but anyway, this is this is what it looks like uh, as we get started. Uh, I won't make a video unless I find uh, uh, some new territory. Um, so you know, basically. You know, here at Sunny Hill, there's not a lot of shade. Uh, you know, you're just basically hiking down a, well, like just a grassy road uh, uh, for most of, most of the way around here. Um, but uh, it's a nice day. It's only about, uh, well, I'd say 85 degrees or so. Uh, you know, so it is a little bit on the warm side. Uh, but I knew that I had to get, I've been, been, been working around, I've been working on the car and, uh, you know, trying to get my mom taken care of, working on the doggone divorce. You know, so it's, uh, I had to get out. I mean, you know, it's, you got to have the balance of life, right? You got to get out and have some fun. So let's see if we can find a way over to the Oklawaha River, uh, hiking along that uh, trail. Now, it's going to be a long hike for sure. And so, you know, these videos don't really show you <laughs> how far I go to, 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 to make these videos. But uh, it'll be cool. You know, I, I just wanted to get, I'm still actually sore from that, uh, that, gosh, I'm six or seven mile hike out at uh, uh, Halpata. 
that was a that was a hell of a day <laughs> but you know i wanted to be wiped out for new year's because i knew i was going to be all alone and uh you know my wife didn't even well she's still my wife uh, until i signed the papers uh she didn't even bring over the dog so uh, i knew i was going to be all alone and of course you know it's it's it sucks working on the car trying to trying to get things ready to go up and help my mother you know uh letting the neighbors know the house will probably be abandoned uh you know we'll see uh, she's I don't know how she survives uh, eating just cottage cheese. That's like, that's what the last I heard from my stepsister. All right, well let's uh, let's see if we can find a way across. And uh, if I do, we'll add on to the video. If not, uh, I might just delete this, and uh, that that'll be it. All right, peace out. So just in case you haven't watched my previous videos, uh, I remember the first time I was hiking here, I came to this sign <laughs> and see the little camping signal. Uh, symbol right there i thought well i guess this is the camping area you know but no the actually it's the first left uh you just go down that road and that'll take you down to the camping area it's actually a very nice hike through the trees you actually get some shade you know we just came down that and so basically i'm going up this way and this is we this is where i made one of my famous uh, it's okay to be stupid videos uh because we took a right and went down that way so but what i'm going to do today is i'm going to go up here and just make a left and see if I can find a, a, a trek that'll take me over to the uh, the Ocklawa River. Let's 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 get going. So a real brief clip here. Uh, you know this is uh, this is what I was talking about. It's not even on the map. That goes down. It actually dead ends down the way. You know we just came up that right there. Um, and I, uh, you know I, there is uh, actually some uh, power lines. Uh, maybe this time of year it might be dry enough that you could hike back to to the the main road. Uh, you know, when I hiked it before, it was too wet. So basically, what we're doing is just we're just going to hike along this uh, waterway and uh, and see if there's going to be some way to get through that right there through that to get over to the Akawa River. That's what today's experiment is all about. So we've been here before and done this. Uh, this is just a little trek, it takes you back. Now you can go right, and that, but that gets real horsey back in there. And Sandy, it's a tough hike. Uh, and I tried to do that uh, in a previous video. And, uh, and then of course, if you make a left, it just takes you back to the campground and then all the way back to the north, uh, the north entrance road. Um, so, you know, and, Basically, you know, this is what it looks like. I just came up this uh, grassy area. Once again, nobody here but me. Um, but uh, we're actually in virgin territory at this point. See, this is what I was talking about. Now, I'm a good hour hour into the hike. So, I mean, if you wanted a, just a nice hike, you know, come up and just do this loop. You know, take this and then just head on back that way. Uh, that's Actually, that's how I'll go back because you're actually in the forest uh, and, you know, shaded. Whereas you can see, there's a <laughs> there's no shade here, um, but I'm going to go about another hour in this direction, and that's what I that's what the purpose of this video was. Uh, one is to hike this virgin territory. I always love being in virgin territory that I've never been to before. I mean, the Sunny Hills basically all the same, uh, but I'm hoping, you know, maybe up here a ways uh, we'll find a a trek that'll take us over to the river. Uh, you, you could mountain bike this. Uh, you know, it's uh, it, it's not too crazy. I, I mean, I'd be tough pedaling through this grass, I think, at least for me anyway. Uh, maybe not for a younger person. But let's keep on going, and uh, maybe we'll find what I'm looking for. Because uh, that's one of the things about hiking around in Sunny Hill or, uh, or by the Oklahoma River. There's always seems to be trails that aren't on maps that I find, and uh, and they're fun to do, you know trying to get yourself lost but uh, you really can't get lost here i mean you know you're more or less just on a grassy road and uh let's see what we find so since we are in uh virgin territory thought i'd just get a brief clip so we came down you, know, you can see it's just more of the same we came down that and now we're moving this way i mean it's it's quite beautiful here i tell you i i do love sunny hill very very much uh be a great place but uh you know this uh this just grassy road you know there's only there was that one turn that you could have made back there that'll take you back to the campground uh but more or less uh there's no uh there's no way off of this trek and uh 
I'm so beat up and sore from hiking Hapata two, two days ago that uh, I'm not sure how much further I'm going to get today. But, uh, you know, you never want to turn around. I got plenty of daylight left, but I'm a good uh, hour and a half into the hike at this point. And uh, so that means an hour and a half going back. So let's uh, let's just keep on going. And uh, But uh, kind of a transition here, you know. I think it's uh, it was worth taking a brief clip here. Uh, quite beautiful. I you know I can't can't believe I'm when I get to these places I'm always the only person out here. Kind of kind of weird to me, but uh, at the same time very pleasant. Uh, unfortunately, my uh, usually I have my headphones on, and uh, I guess the batteries are dead. I don't know, but uh, so I'm just uh, listening to the birds chirping, which is probably okay. You don't have to have the headphones every time you hike. Peace out. Thought I'd get another clip. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. You're just looking out across, I guess, a prairie, more or less. You know, once again, we're just coming down that grassy road right there. And, uh, you know, it's kind of bending just a little bit to the left. Um, but a different look. Wanted to get that on the video. Still hiking next to a creek over here. Uh, no uh, no turns, you know, you, no, no new trails or anything. Just basically hiking down this, this uh, grassy road. Well, I can't imagine what tore all that up, but uh, kind of hitting a new transition. So you were heading into uh, more of a pine type of forest, uh, getting out past the prairie. Uh, look to the left here, quite beautiful. With the mossy trees, I guess those are oak trees, big pines. Look at the size of that sucker right there, that pine tree. Wonder how many years that's been around. But uh, anyway, just more or less continuing down. No, no turns, not a single trail off of this trail. You're just kind of traveling down a grassy road. And uh, you know, great place to get some exercise. That's for doggone sure. I'm enjoying it. So I'm a good, uh, a good two hours into the hike. Uh, no turns to the left, no turns to the right. Just uh, basically hiking down a grassy road. I'm going to go a little further, but I got to hike back because, uh, uh, you know, it's going to going to get dark on me. It's getting darn near four o'clock and we started at two or maybe even even before two o'clock, I think. So uh, and plus, I'm pretty beat up from that uh, Alpata hike. So uh, I wouldn't say it was a bust. You know, we didn't find a trail over to the river like I thought we might, that wouldn't be, wasn't on the map, you know, but, uh, that's all right. You know, what we'll do is, uh, next time we'll attack this from, uh, the next parking area up, uh, and come, come back this way. I got to find a marker to, uh, to get, uh, get where I hike to today and, uh, see if there's a way across the prairie to get over to the river. That's what I was curious about, because you know, we did, when you were doing the trail by the river, there was all those side roads, and I kept thinking one of them would come over and connect to this uh, that wasn't on the map, but I, I guess I was, well, I won't say I was wrong, I, you know, it's not on the map, you know. <laughs> but but uh, anyway, this is uh, this will be it for today. Uh, I'll make one last video. I want to show you the campground on the way back, and that's where we'll make the, uh, the mantra. Uh, so if you want to tune out or, or at least see the campground because uh, I do at some point once I'm done with the divorce and I'm done with uh, my mother and uh, you know uh, taking care of her then I do want to uh, to have some fun you know play some pickleball and uh, some tennis and, and do some do some thing not that this is not fun I mean this is just me getting my head on straight and getting out for a hike and that's what I tell veterans every day you know when you're going through stress like I'm going through, it's real important that you just get out and uh, go for a hike, especially in a, an area like this. I mean, I, there's nobody here except me, you know, me and the, the animals and the birds, and, you know, it's uh, and breathing the fresh air. You know, I always love that line in uh, when Gandalf says to Thea, Theolan or in the uh, Lord of the Rings, he says, breathe the free air. There you go. All right, so I'm going to just hike up a little ways further, uh, and then we'll just get a video of the campground, and that'll be it for the day. But uh, 
at least it was a beautiful day and you can see it looks like the trail is going to kind of wind around that way i don't know I, I you know i always hate turning around you know that's the part i i can't stand it but you know i get too daggone tired i'm just not i'm a fat old man you know all right so let's uh let's just go a ways further see if we see anything all right well now i'm glad i kept going we got a trail here going off to the left first one i've seen and uh looky here looks like a road up here one going to the left and one going to the right we may have hit the jackpot on getting over to the Oklahoma river so let's just keep going i know it's going to probably get dark before i get back to the car but uh I don't want to stop at this point this is uh, this is what I was thinking this is what I was looking for so uh, let's see uh, I'm gonna take the right here of course because I'm trying to see if we can get over to the river and uh, that'll be quite interesting that way uh, next time I'm riding my bike I can come back here and do this road right here you know come off of the river trail and then uh, take this road and head on that way and go go around that but uh and you can see a whole different look so i actually i think i know this road holy moly hold on let's go on down here so this is it for the day i always love that uh star trek episode uh where uh, captain kirk was fighting the uh the klingons and i remember that uh what, what was it they said success my lord and of course it was in klingon i, I couldn't pronounce it in klingon uh isn't it funny how hollywood developed a whole language around uh the, you know there are actually geeks out there at, at the uh, star trek conferences that that will speak klingon to each other i i i I'd, that'd be an art form that uh would be interesting but if you recognize this we came in well we came down the river on the mountain bike to this road and that that was the end of my 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 mount well it wasn't the end of my mountain bike and i continued on the on along the river on the mountain bike uh but then i just i wanted to hike down and see what these uh white things were here uh let's get out on the dock one last time i wish i had my my selfie stick with me i i just uh well i didn't i didn't didn't know i was gonna have success i i by the way i saw a guy a fellow hiker out here his name was george uh, we had a nice long conversation um he gave me um he said that there's a yingling gosh dang it yingling trail off of 19 i'm gonna have to go home and, and uh see if i can find that uh that'll be a nice hike uh, he said it's about uh two hour two hour loop uh and then there was another trail by rod i think he said roddingham dam uh up on on 19 i'm gonna look i'm gonna try to look that up and those would be two new hikes that we can do. Uh, you know, that's why I always try to, when I see somebody out actually hiking, you know, I want to talk to them because, you know, I'm trying to find new trails to, to do. Uh, we've just about covered all of uh, uh, Sunny Hill Restoration Area. Like I said, we'll bring the mountain bike next time. And rather than going down by the river, we'll come down this road and make a right and go up that way. And I think that'll just finish off the Sunny Hill uh restoration area hiking it except for exercise from this point on as far as the videos go anyway and uh but i'm pumped man i told you that this wasn't on the map you know i saw this road from the other side and i said you know what i bet it comes over to connect with this uh the, the trail that runs by the uh the creek and uh, takes you back to the north parking area you know and uh we verified that so uh if you wanted to come out now george uh, he does a bit more than i do he says he goes about uh seven six or seven miles uh i don't know how far i've been uh the fact that i ran into him indicates uh <laughs> i'm pretty way out here that's for dog on shore uh it would have been fun to hike with him uh, he was a very nice guy uh anyway uh I, I had to get the the success on the video and uh let's let's wait till we get to the campground and we'll get one last video there uh but that's uh this is getting to be it I'd, maybe someday i'll go back and attempt that southern track of the uh sunny hill area um i don't know that was uh that was a brutal hike i 
I didn't really enjoy it. Way, way too horsey, way too sandy, uh, you know. And uh, and then of course, uh, even at this time of the year, it was uh, kind of uh, wet back in there, you know. And that's why we turned around and and didn't uh, didn't do that far. But I mean, it, you and of course you did have the danger of wild pigs back in there, so you'd probably want to be packing, you know. Whereas here, I feel pretty safe, you know. I mean, I I don't expect to see a, a gator on the trail, although I have seen one, uh, you know, or, or a bear, although I know there's bear back in here, you know, but, uh, you know, for the most part, you know, on, on these grassy roads, I, mainly I just see birds. All right, peace out. Let's, let's get back to the campground and we'll get a video there. So this is the campground. I've gotten this on the previous video and I'm pretty sure that they've told me, but I, you know, you got to call up the number to the, the, the sign and let them know you're going to camp here. Uh, but I've never seen anybody camping here. But I thought it would be fun to, to, cause I got that carrier on the back of the motorcycle and uh, I, you know, could load it up. I mean, you can see this firewood here already. Uh, I, I don't think I have anything to split it with. I don't have an, well, I do have an ax. So, you know, but I did, you know, who knows whether that would be here, but wouldn't this be great to come in here uh, with your t tent, just probably just bring the two person tent, you know, on a couple of good weather days and just camp here for the night. I mean, this is, this is an outstanding camping site. And then of course you got, you know, always when I'm camping, I love having picnic tables, uh, you know, and, and of course having that shelter there too, that's that's a very nice touch. Uh, you know, you don't even get that at most campgrounds. Uh, so you could always hole up underneath there if a bad storm came in, but of course I wouldn't be camping here in, in, in any sort of foul weather. Uh, but I did want to get the campground on the, on the video. Now you can see it's, you know, it's for horses. You know, there, there's where you could tie off your horses. Uh, and, and that's what a lot of people do. They'll come in here with their horses and, uh, you know, and also over here you got water where you can wash uh, your dishes so you could, you don't have to eat uh, just Mountain House. You could bring in something and actually cook it and, uh, and, and have a nice meal. Uh, but uh, I've, you know, I've often thought about camping here. Uh, I just think it'd be the, a hoot. You know, but I got to I would have to check with the authority to make sure because there's no motor vehicles, you know. But I mean, if I just told them, hey, look, you know, I'm just going to take a motorcycle uh, 150 back there and, uh, you know, got it loaded up with my tent and uh, some firewood and stuff. I probably would make a couple of trips, you know, like bring the tent in, uh, you know, and then uh, get that put up along with all my camping gear and stuff and then take the motorcycle back to my house, uh, you know, make a day out of it and, uh stage the uh the campground and then bring in some firewood and uh you know on a second day and then camp there that night you know that that'd be really cool i think it would uh you know just a thought always dreaming always dreaming all right well that's it for this video we got to do the mantra freedom oh freedom Good to live in the free Republican state of Florida where we have no vaccine mandates, no jab requirements, no lockdowns, and we are free to come and do as we please under the great leadership of Governor DeSantis. And if you're a Democrat, go to New York, go to Minnesota, go, uh, go, uh, go, to, go to Illinois, you know, go to California. Don't go to Texas. You don't want to be in Texas. You certainly don't want to be in a free state like Florida. You know, don't uh, don't bring your politics here. You know, we we want to remain free. You know, you you enjoy your lockdowns. Make sure and show your vaccine passports and get your booster to your booster to your booster and get the booster on top of that one. You know, and uh, you know follow follow the follow the man. Make sure you listen to what your government tells you. Peace out and be free. I wanted to get this on the video real quick. So, okay, we came in here and we hiked all the way down this. Now, you see what I'm saying? There's no indication. That's the, that's the loop that goes back by the campground. No, maybe it's this one right here. I don't know. But anyway, see, there's no, I mean, you've got this con conservation easement. And I wonder if that, but that was the road that's going to take you from here over to here. We certainly got nowhere near the tower, which is down here. So anyway, that's why I wanted to hike it today because I came across that road when I was bicycling the other day. There's uh, the final the final look for the day. And uh, I just knew that I should be able to get it from this side because I'm at the, uh, the north entrance here to the Sunny Hill Restoration Area. Uh, I can see the motorcycle. Boy, oh boy, I'm looking forward 
to kicking the feet up and watching some TV, I am wiped out. I was a lot longer the hike than I wanted, especially after hiking three days ago. I'm not intending to get these long. Well, today wasn't meant to be an exhausting day. I just knew that there was a place that you could get over to the river because I want to come back and mountain bike this, you know. And, uh, and that's kind of what I do. I, I hike a trail before I mountain bike it because, you know, being an old fart, you know, it gives you twice the amount of exercise. And I uh, said, so what I want to do next time we come back here is we're going to come down by the river mountain biking. And then we'll take that road over to where we uh, stopped the video last time at the uh, at that little area where those white tanks are. I forget what's in them. And then uh, and then we'll go go all the way across the road and then make a right and go up towards the tower. And that will actually finish off the Sunny Hill Restoration Area. I will have done everything in here except for some of the trail by the river, but you've already seen it from both sides. It's just the middle that I haven't gotten to. And, uh, you know, I'll just do that for exercise. I won't make a video there. But anyway, we've got a couple of new hikes. I'm gonna look up this Roddenham Dam thing, uh, cause I did wanna go, I do wanna go north, you know. We've been going mostly west. I, well, I guess the, the next video will be the Withlacoochee uh, bike trail. Well, um, you know, we got a long ways to go there. That'll be another three or four videos for sure. And then uh, and then maybe I'll get out, because, you know, I like to combine the two. I want to do a little mountain biking, a little bit of a, well, and plus, you know, who knows what the future holds. I'll be through the divorce here within a week, I believe. And then, uh, and then of course, I got to get up to Virginia. And, and that, we'll, we'll get some video up there, probably in the Appalachian Mountains. I've already got a couple of videos there. Uh, cause, but I, I just love going up on the parkway. It'll be cold, so I gotta have all my cold weather gear. But maybe we'll get some hikes up there and get some videos there while I'm visiting my mother for Christmas. Peace out, stay free. Yeah, there's one car here. So, anyway, that's it for the Sunny Hill Restoration Area. We got one more video, and this, uh, we'll have, we'll have done this whole thing. Massive area. All right, and then of course we still got Halpata. Some hikes left there, probably another four or five, six videos, who knows? You know, we got that whole loop in. That was a hell of a hike, wasn't it? But uh, I won't be back there for a while. I'm, I'm, I've got to do the mountain biking at this point. That'll be the next video, if I get it in. You know, I'm expecting the bat signal to go up on my mom at any point to tell me I have to rush back to Virginia. All right, peace out. Stay free.